In Business Central, there's uh, multiple different modes that you can run when you're running it for your business. If you're running inventory, you can do that on purchase invoices and sales invoices as long as we've got a very light, uh, uh, you know, there's there's no location specified, like we're, we, we, you know, we don't have warehousing. Um, and so there's certain circumstances where you need to turn around and use an order to turn around and facilitate a transaction. Um, for example, um, doing a credit, if you've got a credit that you need to issue someone and you've used inventory and you've got warehousing, you would need to use a purchase return order. But in a simple approach, I can actually come in and raise a purchase credit adjustment note. I can click new. And um, I'm going to select right size 365. And, oh, you know, I'm not sure what line this had, you know, what, what line. So I'm going to go get posted document lines to reverse. And from this, it's going to load me a, um, a box that gives me a dialogue of not only what invoices, credits, returns, or receipts that I've had in the past. And I can filter through for this particular scenario right so i have an issue with um let's just say this athens desk just here um and i can highlight that or i can highlight two items so let's say that it's it's 150 and 300 and we've had some broken items arrived we've called them and they've said no worries and they've given us a credit <clears throat> all right so we have some items that have been inserted on here, and I'm going to bring this down to five and three, which is what we've been issued a credit on. And so a credit is for five times a hundred, five hundred dollars, and four thousand seven hundred dollars, which totals up here. So it looks very much like an invoice. Um, we need the credit note from the vendor. We would load the attachment of the credit note to the vendor okay and at a minimum just now um, we would need a reason code so we're going to go right down the bottom and we're going to say well what's our reason for this and it's because it was cancelled um, or it could be because it was broken you can capture that reason code and the other thing that you could do is if we have an open balance i could actually apply this credit to one of the invoices okay so I'm not going to apply this. I'm going to keep it relatively simple. We just go home. I'm just going to preview. Just check there's no problems. It posts fine. So from here, I'm going to post that credit. There we go. And in the next video, I'll take you through how you actually do an advanced credit with a purchase return order. Thank you.